Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video, we will be learning how to make part and assembly templates. We are currently in the main home screen of SolidWorks and have not yet opened any files, but if we go up here and click the new document button, then we will want to choose to make a new part. We are currently in the advanced screen, and clicking that button right there lets us turn into the novice screen where we just have three simple options to start but going back to the advanced screen when we save templates they will be accessible in the screen right here you'll also see we have the MBD tab and the tutorial tab these tabs can also save different templates but today we're just focusing on the templates tab so double click part and now that we are in this part we want to look at the different document properties so we are currently using the MMGS measurement system, the format, and I just personally use that for most of my projects. By clicking on the box in the bottom right corner, we will be able to choose which measurement system we would like to use. Also, if we click the gear right here, it opens up different settings, system options, but in document properties right here, we can choose the drafting standard or we can change the units in a little more advanced way. And we can add things like dual dimensions, other options. And we can configure any of these properties that we would like. So let's make a few changes. Let's change ANSI to ISO. And instead of using MGGS, let's use IPS. So once we are happy with these changes, click OK and your settings will be applied to the program. So now the program is an IPS and we are using the ISO drafting standard. Sometimes this feels kind of tedious though. If you have to make a lot of new parts and you're sick of going into the options every single time and changing the files, well if we click on the file button right here and go to save as, we are able to choose the part template option. SOLIDWORKS will automatically open the part template folder, as you can see. So let's call this file part IPS. Now save that file. And if we close this part and open a new part, you will see that we have the part file, but also a part IPS file. So opening the main part file, you will see we are in MMGS and if we exit the file and open a new one you will see if we go to the options and click document properties we are in the ISO drafting standard and we are in the IPS measuring system now let's close out of this part file and create a new assembly file. So again just double clicking on this and my SOLIDWORKS is set up to allow me to choose an assembly template but let's just cancel out of this screen. Now let's cancel out of the begin assembly prompt and let's click on the options button much like we do with the part template and in document properties let's switch to ISO Again, we can go down to dimensions or units and go to IPS. And remember, you can change all these options. You can change whatever you want. I'm just keeping it simple. So now let's click OK and go up to the file menu, save as. And the drop down, you can see the assembly templates. And let's call this one assembly IPS and save that. And exiting out, we can go back in, and now we have assembly IPS. These buttons over here allow you to change the way that you list the templates. Cut it for templates. Lastly, we can find the file location where the templates are stored. It was a little difficult for me to find because I had to find this program data file right here, which was hidden from me. But if we go into the local disk, you can uncheck hide hidden folders and go to program data SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS 2019 and then come here. With that you can copy, delete, and take other te templates and add them to this folder. Any template inside of this folder will pop up inside of your SOLIDWORKS. 
I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our online training courses at GoEngineer. Thank you.